Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it'd be fun to do a quick video while everything is in bloom practically on my foul uh, rack here. Tons and tons of flowers here. Unfortunately, about a week and a half ago, we had some pretty strong winds come through. It knocked over a lot of my plants. Um, one plant, one of my favorite plants actually got broken half at the crown um, and the spikes got just ripped apart because it fell from there all the way down. Um, and on its way down, it knocked off some stalks on the other plants, and it was just a disaster. I think I had nine spikes broken total. Um, it was really, really a bummer. But thankfully, what I have out here is still alive, or still alive, still blooming. Those These spikes all did survive, so we've got a little mix of everything here. We've got just kind of a fun pink and white fowl, a candy stripe fowl. This one's still going strong, and there is its second spike right there. We've got like a helo lip looking one. This is just a fun little miniature. The one back there is a really cool Harlequin type that I got a long time ago. This is OX Blackface from Odom's, or not Odom's, excuse me, um, orchids.com, Norman's Orchids. This is just kind of another, kind of a Harlequin looking. He's got two spikes. Down here, we've got a white fowl and then a pink one. You can see right there. This is just kind of a fun big lip one. This is Everspring Prince. I got that at Hauserman's. Um, it had two more primary spikes coming. Neither of them made it. You can see one's there, but all the flowers did nothing on it. I don't know what happened there. But the one behind it here, that's a really pretty one. I do like that one quite a bit. This was my $1.95 orchid from Walmart. I thought that was kind of a pretty one. Beautiful yellow. This is Manhattan Spot. I brought this one from Ohio. Another cute little mini. Now this guy's the fun one. It is in one of those, they call it a Kokodama ball, but we all know it's not Kokodama. I got this from Lowe's last year when I uh, moved here. I think it was about the first month that I moved here. And this morning I was out here watering and I'm like, what's that smell? And this thing has the most beautiful fragrance ever. It's just a really cute, simple little flower, but oh my goodness, does it smell good. And then I got this gorgeous thing down here. Got two plants and I think five spikes total. Absolutely beautiful. And then this another big lip one. This was a clearance cart. And this is my son's. He was so proud that it bloomed. This thing just keeps going to town. I tell you, the flowers on it are insane. It's on two levels there. And then I got this fun little thing here. See if you can see that one. And then that one opened up. And then down here, just a few more. But that is my foul rack. Just a splash of color all over the place. Up here on my Cattleya rack, my apple blossom bloomed. And then this one here is also gonna bloom. It has those two spikes there and then another spike right there. So that's kind of fun. Everything else here is just kind of um, sitting tight. I had a big spike on this, it snapped, but we finally have a little secondary one. My Brassavola over here has two spikes, still going strong. And then everything else is just growing roots. Happy, happy little plants. We come over to this side see here that nothing is going on <laughs> no, I'm kidding I actually have this really cool little ground orchid you can see here I don't remember the name of it but it's a supposedly Chinese invasive ground orchid but I think it's really really cute so I put it in a pot with a bunch of succulents and then my vanilla I got a vanilla orchid is over there I got a massive vanda that I got to put out in my landscaping got those remotes but um, yeah they're all just kind of doing their thing <sighs> and then my pride and joys. <laughs> I love my vandas. They are some of my favorite plants. This is a Ben's fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous little plant. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. I love this plant so much. My Pachara Delight is still going strong here. Some of the flowers are starting to fade and that's okay. This is the one that my kids got me my first Father's Day in Florida and it's going to bloom again. That's its fourth blooming for me. And then my um, uh, Gordon Dillion has one spike there and another spike there. So I'm really excited about that. This is a Robert's Delight Black. Still waiting for the temperatures to rise a little bit in Indiana. And I'm going to send those two plants to my friend up there. Uh, these guys are all just kind of hanging tight. Not a whole lot going on except for, ooh, just found another spike right there. Haha, <laughs> literally just saw that. This is a Ben's Jasmine something or other. Beautiful plant. Absolutely love the flowers. Gorgeous and it smells amazing. My Robert's Delight Black has opened and then it has another spike right here you can see. 
This little guy is still going strong. I love this one too. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. My Denisoniana bloomed. You guys, when I talk about a fragrance, oh my goodness, this thing fills my lanai at night. It smells so darn good. But just take a look at this thing. So beautiful. I love the Robert's Delight Black. It is one of my absolute favorite Vandas. So coming along down here, this guy's kind of on his way out here. I've got another Ben's. Uh, this is from Ben Jong's or, or Bang Jong's orchids. That's another one of those um, Ben's crosses. Beautiful plant, nonetheless. Over here, I was looking and I realized that I've got a little spike right down there on that plant. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know what's going on with my Ranko stylus. He looks terrible. Uh, I'm not super thrilled about that. This guy, if you can get in there, has a nice big fat spike. My Mimi Palmer opened. Look how beautiful these flowers are. So, so gorgeous. Absolutely love them. And then um, these guys are all kind of done. This is a really neat plant. I love the colors on this one. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. There we go. He's gonna bloom, which is exciting. Otherwise, I got a lot of fat roots going on. This guy's on his way out. And then this guy up here is facing the wrong way. Let's see if I can get you over there. But he is blooming, and I love that one. It's such a gorgeous plant. Down here, just a dendrobium and some epidendrums blooming. Some ground orchids still doing their thing. Um, that's about it on the Vanda side. Lots of gorgeous flowers and loving every second. Then over here, these two Vandas are done blooming. But I wanted to show you this desert rose that I have. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. So many flowers. I had to tie up my epidendrums because they were getting a little out of control here. But these things are so gorgeous. I had to, had to, had to show them to you. So that is a quick update, guys. Um, it's been really, really windy, so I've been watering more than I usually do. Um, thank you, Mr. Motorcycle. Uh, just to kind of keep up with it, I had a few of these guys get a little droopy, and uh, I didn't realize they dried out as quickly as they did, so I've been having to water them a lot faster. But that is the quick update, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have questions about how I grow or what I do, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make a video on it. And yeah, we'll see you guys on my next Orchid update. Have a great day. Happy growing.